is a man uh, who upset everyone uh, in the last competition in Doha. Friedrich, the, the, the Czech Republic, he beat them all and uh, really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Well, he was complaining the Czech last week, Stuart, to Steve Grant and myself about how I saw his back was. He said he's had enormous problems with his back for the last couple of seasons. He's a huge man. I met him in the lift today and I, last week when we were chatting to him, he was sitting down. I wasn't quite really aware of just how tall he is. He's about six foot six, six foot seven, a huge fellow, so he's got really long levers. And uh, Friedrich, of course, when he hits it right, can get it very right. So tonight, well, a modest series so far. Hasn't yet broached 80 metres. And that one doesn't do it either. 78.92 in round three. So he's not hitting the mark there. So much of it is about the time, of course. And he was saying last week that he's really handicapped by his back. Well, this is a fellow on the world champion, the Kamaki, looking for 90 metre form, because he is one of the world's 90 metre throwers. And on form, when it really goes well, then it's good. And that's just over 85 metres, so that's uh, in first place. And that is exactly what he wanted. And Wittemarki and Torkelson find themselves in the first two places. And that's the form book. Hits it very hard. Stomps the foot down, the left foot down. Hits it very hard. Look how long the pull is. And the angle at which he releases the javelin is such. It's very aerodynamic, this. If you don't get the angle right, it will stall. He absolutely powers it away. This time, it gets it uh, somewhere near right. 85 meter throw in the stadium is a good throw. Yes, he says, yes. That is the target for the rest. 85-33, world leading uh, distance. And that was Torkelson just catching up with him quickly. Oh, that's pretty close to 85 as well. Talking to him in Oja, he said, um, I didn't like not getting a point last year. I can't remember the last time he didn't get a point, but <laughs> he, he, he didn't feature in the first three. He's a big fella, he's fast, remember he's a double Olympic champion. Didn't quite get that together. He opened out too early, as you can see, and there was not the length of pull that you need on a champion to give you the 85 plus uh, distances. But uh, nevertheless, uh, there. He's such a difficult man to beat. He's a double Olympic champion. Well, he's a less than one course bit better than that. Really good goals. 85 12. He's in place. He's his best for him. So that helps the smile of getting better, he said. I talked to him this morning in the foyer, though. He did say he's been sleeping really badly since he got out there. Andreas, he said uh, he last night went to the car and had a couple of little chases to try and help him sleep better. There's uh, Jenny Meadows. Well, the javelin. Janik, Igor Janik of uh, Poland. And, uh, competition still being led by Wittgenmark, incidentally, so... Now, it's 
very difficult to know from here, but that uh, top of the quad is definitely a problem. Well, it come up here. The sixth uh, round of this competition.